Welcome back to the vlog. Last week, I did not really post any videos. Um, Ashley, Emma, and I have been sick, and we've had just a lot going on, and I just didn't have time to film or edit. Um, I've been uh, going to different locations to take product photos of my upcoming Amazon product and uh, help my dad get his um, toilet fixed. There was a, a pipe that just cracked over the past 25 years of use. Uh, let's see, what else have you missed? Um, just a bunch of little random stuff like that. So I'm um, still getting over this cold and uh, it's no fun, but I'm sure you know how that goes. So uh, just got ram pump stuff in and I am um, putting those up, but I think today um, Em and I are about to go to a pool party um, for my work should be fun uh, If it doesn't rain uh, so but until then I think the project I'm going to tackle is going to be getting the vice on the workbench here um, You may have watched the vice install of this over here. It's gonna be just like that except a little tweaking but uh, I'm probably going to have to do a little routing under here to bring this up some. We'll see. But anyway, that's my main task for today. It was cute taking Emma out to get some product photos. But also showed me that it's nearly impossible to get some good product photos with a one and a half year old. So I have uh, a couple of friends. Uh, they've actually been on the channel before from the Happy Hens and Highlands Farm and they go on vacation all the time. Yeah, I'm getting the tripod out of the car here. And they go places like you know, Colorado and New York and all these really great places. So anyway, I was talking to them today and uh, asked if they would do product reviews or product photos and they agreed. So I'll definitely have them to update my photos uh, sometime, I think, in the next couple of months. As you know, I am a YouTuber, and all YouTubers are extremely wealthy. And so I wanted to show you what I just purchased. This uh, granola bar. <laughs> now, I'm here at um, the Toyota dealership. My airbag has been recalled, and so now I'm just checking out all the vehicles I will probably never be able to afford. After checking out all these Toyota models, Honestly, I think I would go with the hybrid RAV4. It's a lot like the car I already use, um, but it has a towing package and gets uh, 34 miles to the gallon, which is pretty awesome. So I think that's the one that I would have to go with if I had an extra 35,000 laying around. The mechanic here said it would take about two hours and it took an hour and 58 minutes. So he was right on top of things. Well, uh, my task now is to go find a toddler mattress because I plan on making Emma that new, can you even see me? So dark. Making Emma that new uh, bed frame here. So I think I will try out Walmart and Target. I found a good mattress for Emma. Um, this is about 40 bucks, so not terrible. And the lumber that I have here is going to be used for her new bed. And uh, I just need to build that hopefully this upcoming week. I was waiting to get the uh, workbench done before I started that project. And now that this is done, I will be able to do that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the floor from that project. And I want to go ahead and get this table up for more storage up here. But before I can do that, I have to finish all of that up there. So uh, insulation and paneling on that. And then I'll get that up there for more storage. Um, I'm still sick, so I'm having a hard time focusing on vlogs at the moment. And uh, so um, in July, I posted a ton of vlogs and it was fun. But uh, this month I'm just kind of stepping back and slowing down a little bit. Um, but just bringing you the regular Thursday vlog. Yeah, I'm going to start cleaning up some more. It's amazing whenever you start working with uh, ripping down material and using the plane, uh, just how much sawdust you generate. It's uh, pretty amazing.
It's all your fault. Idiot. <laughs> Whoa. Nerf got all that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Good run. You can do it again. She's going round and round and round. <laughs> and then she slows down and clocks. Normally on Tuesdays, I do all of my projects and work that you get to see. But Ashley is trying to finish her book in order to send it off to somebody. So I'm giving her lots of extra time this week. So there may not be much content for you again this week. But uh, as you saw, Emma's really enjoying her mattress and uh, wanted to see what the dimensions were here so I can uh, start working on her uh, bed frame. 27 and a half by about 53. So tomorrow I'll begin building that and hopefully it will uh, be a pretty quick project unlike uh, the workbench that I just finished that took forever. Whenever I'm sick, I am so unmotivated. Uh, got Emma with me today. Uh, we're gonna drop off ram pump orders and then we're gonna, I guess, head on over to Lowe's. Lowe's is about 30 to 40 minutes from our house, which sadly is kind of a long drive. I was hoping that I could uh, pick up some more plywood to start doing more um, in the workshop. I wanna make a cart for my uh, miter saw and then some kind of option of uh, storing that metal cabinet for uh, hardware. And I also want to see if I can pick up some uh, Craig pocket hole plugs. Uh, so when I make Emma's uh, bed, I can um, put those plugs in there and it'll cover up the, the hardware. Anyway, um, it's raining so I may not get the um, plywood, but um, we can at least take a trip to Lowe's. Just got back from Lowe's and also my local lumber yard with some stuff. So I got the last OSB for uh, up in there and also over here, uh, which should be really good. I also purchased this AC plywood. Uh, it used to be $35, it was $41 now. I hate to see stuff going up so quick. I uh, also got some hinges and then some dowels. So uh, I'm gonna use this lumber for Emma's bed frame. I'm gonna use the dowels to cover the um, pocket holes. And then I got hinges to make a um, cart for my miter saw. I've been uh, kneeling down on the floor for quite a while to cut stuff and I'm ready to use a cart. So Emma and I have had a good day together she is over here on the bridge going to the tiny house, running back and forth. And uh, somehow we beat this monster storm on the way here. I was uh, moving pretty quick to keep my plywood and OSB from getting soaked. But I'd say sometime in the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes, we'll have a storm on our hands. Wally and Lanny are seeing the chickens for the first time. It's been three weeks since I've had a work day, and so today I'm planning on working eight to 10 hours. So I've got uh, lunch out here, and I'm uh, just gonna get to work. So uh, my list, I bet I left my list inside. Man. Anyway, I'm gonna break down boxes. I'm going to build a baby bed. I'm going to try and get insulation and OSB up here, and uh, a host of other things. So let's get started. It's supposed to rain all day today, so 
that gives me the chance to get a lot of my workshop projects done. So I've been shipping out ram pumps now for several years, like close to three years I think. And it has uh, changed my life to own my own business. Uh, but I'm going to stop selling pumps to uh, International. Uh, I'm going to probably do this at Christmas, I think. So um, I'm going to still sell to Canada, which honestly most of my International sales are uh, Canada. So I do sell a good many to other countries as well. Um, and I, it takes so long for me to type in the address. I know that may sound petty, but when I have to look up um, how to ship to uh, Japan, Thailand, uh, North Korea, um, Saudi Arabia, I've sent to a lot of different places, and uh, it could take me 20 minutes to to find out how to ship to these places and get the address correct, and uh, it's just. It's time consuming and I don't want to do it anymore. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, if somebody's gonna buy a pump, uh, they've got until uh, January 1st to do so if they are anywhere besides the US and Canada. Um, now my new business that I'm starting, where I have ordered product from China and I am uh, shipping out through Amazon, um, I've just managed to get the hang tag completed and I've got my uh, barcodes ready. Uh, so now I'm just waiting on the manufacturing itself. So it um, should be out. I really hope to have it up and running by the end of September um, so I can get some of the Christmas traffic. Um, it's very exciting. So I don't know if you've ever done any research on um, Fulfilled by Amazon. But uh, I've been doing some research and I found one product that uh, a lot of people purchase but very few people sell it. And they, the person was selling around 4,000 of them a month and making a profit of um, anywhere from two to $3,000 off of that. It was a very small and inexpensive product too. So. Even something that small and and cheap, you can still make thousands of dollars. So anyway, I'm looking to really increase my income here over the next year and uh, uh, make some serious changes around my life and with the family. Anyway, I'm rambling. So today's projects, I'm probably going to be filming so you'll get to watch the actual video. Um, that being said, I'm not going to uh, vlog all the small steps. I'll just kind of give you a, this is what I just accomplished. And then you can watch the actual video uh, when it comes out. But um, I will bring you along for the installation in OSB. And hopefully I'll get to install um, this workbench up here as another storage shelf. And then uh, I'll be using this workbench for all my projects from now on. And of course that went over there when I finally uh, cleaned it up. As you can tell, I'm still sick, um, but I'm just gonna work through it. Productive day so far. I've got this one piece installed and insulation up there. I've also started the cuts for the bed that I am building, uh, leftover wood there. But anyway, so those, those, and those. And, uh, Ashley is going to have a, uh, a Harry Potter themed book club in um, a week from now and they're going to be doing these Harry Potter wands. Um, so anyway, she ordered these uh, bamboo chopsticks and she's asked me to cut them to certain lengths. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to see if I can use the chop saw and if that doesn't work then I will move on to using um, uh, the Japanese pull saw. So anyway, let's see if we can do this real quick. I know this will be a lot faster, but it may uh, shred this. So let's do the first one at 10 and a half inches. Okay. 
and just see uh, how well this does here. Definitely will have to use the uh, sandpaper. Now let's try the pull saw and see what happens with that. Didn't expect that my first uh, use of the new workbench would be to uh, cut chopsticks, but <laughs> you never know what's going to happen around here. Okay, that is actually pretty quick, so, and the uh, cut is much, much smoother. So let's see if I grab a little bit of sandpaper. Yeah, good enough. That's gonna be the method I use. Here are the results of the chopsticks that I cut earlier. They are now starting to really look like Harry Potter wands. So, is most of the design based on glue? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. The glue gives it the texture. And this handle is actually paper with lots of glue. Interesting. I like it. It's cool. I'm making great progress on the toddler house bed that I'm building for Emma. Let me show you what I got so far. <laughs> one of the rails. Uh, so, I'm going to just finish this one today and use it as a practice, but let me show you something that's really awesome here. I bought these poplar dowels and I'm using them as a uh, Craig hole filler. So let me show you that real quick. Uh, it's working even better than I was expecting. So all I'm doing is taking the flat end here and pushing it into the Craig, which is, uh, I think it was a three eighths is what I wound up getting. So you push that in and then you use the Japanese pool saw to uh, just cut the dowel off right where you stuck it in there. I'm finding this pool saw to be more and more handy as I use it. If you're getting into woodworking, I highly recommend you get one of these. I should have bought one long time ago. There we go. Super smooth cut there. And now the other side now has that uh, exact piece that is required. And so what I was doing is using the saw, backing up maybe like a half inch or so and cutting that and making my own plug. And so now, I have to carefully wedge this one into that hole. And let's see, where's my... I was just using a hammer and a block of wood to get that stuck in there. And now I just sand it down. And there we go. A uh, super smooth install there. So anyway, and you can get a whole bunch of these out of a single dowel. Thought it was pretty cool. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one up and then I'm gonna go ahead and start the build of my uh, miter saw cabinet, I think. Either that or I'm gonna mow the yard. We'll find out. I decided to mow the grass and I uh, pretty well got it finished except for the weed eating parts. Um, so I'm glad I had the opportunity to get that done before it rains again. What a good day! Uh, I've got that panel installed up there. I built the base cabinet for my miter saw. I cut all the boards required for the um, toddler bed and I learned a new task. I learned how to put plugs into a pocket hole uh, based off a 3 8 inch dowel. <laughs> uh, so all in all it was a pretty good day. Also shipped out two ram pumps. <laughs> so uh, could you imagine if I had four or five days of work in a week instead of just one? I could get a lot of stuff done. Well, I'm going to go inside and spend time with Emma and Ashley and probably um, edit two or three videos for this upcoming week. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I will see you next time.
Bye.